Hey everybody, this is Paula. This video is a little backwards. I'm actually going home. I was supposed to have the video going to my pottery studio, but I'm going to tell you the last few weeks I have not been normal. I have been getting up and dealing with vertigo every day. So I actually went to the doctor today and got a shot, which I'll tell you about in this video. But yeah, I'm going home in this video, which is kind of funny. I thought oh, this is the video where it's taking you to my pottery studio, which is my full-time gig during the day, other than my other full-time gig at the farm. So after this, you know, little trip here. See, I'm home. We go to the studio. This is the front door of our studio. I'm going to be taking you through the back door. So if y'all have ever wondered what I do, I am uh, a partner in a pottery studio. So I'm here because today is my day to work. I'm gonna turn on all the lights. <clears throat> I'm gonna show y'all around my studio. So I'm entering the back door, and here are our kilns. We always have a lot going on. Kilns are here in the back. This is a beautiful old building. You can see the brick, the big windows in the back. Um, here in Johnston, South Carolina. Let's get the other lights on, get settled for the day. There was a big meeting here last night, our guild meeting. Um, and so we had some horse troubles last night, so I did not, um, get to come so I'm probably in the doghouse this morning but that's okay you know I had a lot going on at home but this is our work studio these tables here are all for hand building and back here in the back this is where we do our glazing our members here we have members that work here in the studio and they each have their own shelves where we put their stuff after it is completed from the kiln. Um, some of us even have our own workspaces. I do most of my pottery at home and I bring it here because when I'm here I'm working. <laughs> but uh, let's see, oh here's some of my work right here. This is one of my fun pieces. It just says instant human, just add coffee. And this is one of mine. This is a real organic piece that I did. And all those of you that are ready for Easter, an Easter bunny. And I have this piece that's meant to look like the beach with the seashells and everything. So, that's some of my work. I'll take you up front so you can see the gallery. The sun is really bright this morning, so I'm real proud of this place. But this is our little gallery, our front window. We have our spring display up. We have our little bunny rabbits hanging and all the pottery for spring and garden. Of course, we're still trying to practice, you know, COVID procedure. But this is our beautiful showroom with all of our pottery. These are some more of my pieces here. Mixing bowls. And our angel collection.
We do have a website and I'll put that in our description so you can see it. In case you guys want to support our habit. And I'll show y'all. This is our wheel room where we throw. I teach classes here every Thursday. And this just takes you right back into the studio. So this is what I do. This is my side gig, or actually my full-time gig, and then the farm. The other full-time gig. So I have two full-time uh, things going on. But um, thank you for going on the tour with me, and I, I'll see you back at the house. We just left Tractor Supply. Look what we just got. Do y'all hear the peep peep? Do you hear the peep peep? Let's see. Duckies! Little baby peeking ducks. Hey, sweetie. All right, we're going to put the baby ducks in here. Nobody's looking at you. Hey, babies. Let's just set you down in here. Y'all got some friends. Need some water. Hey, boy, we've been sitting here in crazy town. There you go. There you go. Then we're going to put five in this one. Morning, little chicks. I've got some new friends. And stirred them all up. I think they want something to eat. Well, hey everybody. It's been a very crazy weekend so far. I mean, today's Saturday. Um, I've been getting up in the mornings with vertigo and um, had to go in and see a doctor today. I saw one yesterday and today, but the doctor um, says it's all COVID related. We, ha we all had COVID back in December and he gave me the official term COVID long hauler today which is great <laughs> got a shot of steroids in my fanny to supposedly stop the spins and um, I feel yucky <laughs> so that being said if I seem a little out of it it is because I am <laughs> I've had memory loss, um, headaches, vertigo, um, fatigue, all the fun things that we don't have time for, especially now during this season, trying to get everything up and running. So, um, yeah, with that, I'll, if I, I'm always forgetting what I'm going to say here, so <laughs> it's because of the foggy brain. But I'm getting ready to go out here. Um, and uh, get Penny's food ready. We are starting her on a new regimen um, where she's got um, 
sorry, uh, beet pulp, shredded beet pulp, and alfalfa pellets, and we gotta soak it. And I'll put like two tablespoons of olive oil in there for fat, but um, I'm gonna go get that ready for her right now. Martha Stewart ain't got nothing on me. She can have her side by side. I got my lawnmower. And I got it to pull this fancy thing here. Ha! <laughs> Alright, let's get this stuff mixed up. Whoa. I think my friend Susie told me she just poured the beet pulp and the alfalfa together in one container. <laughs> I always have to get Rod to do that. I'm too dizzy to uh, lift these bags. <laughs> Y'all might be seeing me get down. Uh, come on. Oh. Takes a rocket scientist to get into the bag. Come on. Really? It's supposed to be like different sesame. Okay, let me try this side. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay. Oh my, those are big. <laughs> Can I All right, alfalfa for the baby. One. These are actually uh, alfalfa yeah, and Timothy pellets. Pulp. And I'll put about two scoops okay. in there. And we'll do a whopping scoop of the beet pulp pellets. But they're hard to get in and hard to scoop, really. We want this to her white name to be more natural. Because we think she may also have an ulcer, so we're trying to treat that. And I will, if y'all have horses and you're interested in what we're doing, I'm going to put it in the description notes. Um, I cannot remember the name of the, uh, the diet my head right now, but it's for inflammation. She's a young horse. Oh gosh, I cannot get it to go in this thing. Okay, be pump. And we want this to soak for about an hour. I've got to go in and get the olive oil to mix into it. Get this mixed up. And we're probably going to be feeding her like this um, three times a day. Um, so I'm going to have to come home at lunch from the studio to do this. I'm just going to let that set up right there. Mm. Hey, Big Red. What's up? Okay. So this has got to set for about an hour to soak. We want this to be completely broken down. And we want all this water to be absorbed. Doesn't that sound delicious? <laughs> um, I have something else I want to show y'all. Did I tell you that for my birthday, I got a dump truck load of dirt? It came. Girl, I'm gonna get dirty. I'm gonna show you my dump truck load of dirt. On my way over to the dirt, I'm gonna, I'm gonna carry my new wagon. <laughs> wagon. It's not a little red wagon. Oh, it's even got big tires. It's really cool. See my wagon. Oh, it's coming over the hill. Okay. All right. Let me turn this around. Look. Dead ahead. This dirt, y'all. This is what a dump truck load of dirt looks like. <laughs> Look at that. Delicious, beautiful dirt. 
for my raised beds. It's beautiful. And I want y'all to look at this. Everything is in bloom. My peach tree is covered in blooms. Isn't that great? This is so cool. When we get back from our, from our trip, I didn't tell y'all this. Oh, my, my OB gave me a, uh, my other brain, gave me a little birdhouse and I hung it out here in the peach tree. There's my other peach tree by the pond and it's in bloom. And here come our geese. They come every year. There's a mating pair and they have their babies here. I think. I think those are the suckers that gave us the uh, duckweed. I, mm. And my um, pear tree is starting to bloom out. We had so many pears last summer. And I made pear preserves. We made, we made peach preserves. Peach cobbler. Baked pears. I can't wait. Just can't wait. Okay. My fig tree is right let's, right here behind the peach tree. It's not quite blooming yet. But my tulip tree is in full bloom. And I've been I've been showing y'all that every other episode or so. Every, every other episode or so I can't even speak today. I'm just a mess. Okay. And here it is. Here is our beautiful tulip tree. Isn't it beautiful? The Japanese magnolia or a tulip tree. Irises are coming up. I need to thin these out. Look at this. These are the irises. If anybody has anything to trade out there, like I have plenty of irises, I'd be willing to send like a seed swap. I've been loving the sweet seed swaps lately. Um, I've been getting a lot of great seeds. I probably now have more than I can plant, <laughs> but it's been fun. It's a fun way to get to know people and um, make friends through gardening online. Okay, our garden is coming along. My turnips are coming up. The cabbage. Here's my cabbage. Hello, cabbage. And I got kale. And of course, peas. And collard greens. I got Swiss chard over here. Oh, my Swiss chard's coming up. All the way down. Look at that. Swiss chard. And I have, this is broccoli. This is Romanesca broccoli. And it's coming up all the way down. I have mixed lettuces. Oh, this is so exciting. You don't know how tempted I was to stop. And we're at Tractor Supply in my dizzy state and just buy plants that were already coming up. But I was like, no. I have seeds. Okay, so that's that. And y'all saw my baby ducks. Mm -hmm. They is cute, cute. They are Pekings. We only got 10. I actually have more ducks coming in later this summer. Um, they are meat ducks. Well, the Pekings will be meat ducks, uh, which means They'll be going to freezer camp. Hmm, sorry, 
you know. And uh, later this summer, I'm looking into getting silver apple yards. Those are really great ducks. Um, very fatty content. Great egg layers. So we'll be able to raise our own eggs uh, with the ducks because they're great brooders. They're, they get very broody. And their meat is excellent. So that way I won't have to keep buying more and more ducks online. I, this will be more self-sustaining, which is actually what we're really about right now. We're trying to be a little more self-sustainable. Okay, so with all that being said, I have one more thing to tell you. It's really exciting. Well, I had to sit down. I was, I was I'm really dizzy. Um, so what I was going to tell you is next week, we are going to be leaving the farm for, I guess, 10 days, something like that. I can't remember. We're going to St. Croix to visit my brother and my sister-in-law. They own a bed and breakfast uh, in St. Croix, and we are going down there to spend some time. We haven't seen them for at least two years, and we're taking my mom down with us um, and hoping that this vertigo is going to go away so we can enjoy ourselves. <laughs> but um, if you wanted to look it up, it is called Coral's Edge. And I'm going to put a link down in um, the description below. But take a look at it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you're itching to get out, <laughs> you're not leaving the country because the U.S. Virgin Islands, uh, they... Um, it's, it's just gorgeous and you'll see the pictures and um, you can book your trip man head out get out of town it's a good time to do it especially now I think the whole island down there has been vaccinated so um, leaving stateside here you have to get a negative um, COVID test and you have to go into a portal there and and download your negative test to the portal and you can get on a plane and fly to St. Croix just like that and that's what we're doing I'm so excited so um, I'll actually be doing uh, some vlogging from St. Croix uh, down there I think there's a, you know beautiful gardens and different places to visit and my brother's a chef and so he likes to cook a lot of local um, cuisine and so I'll show you some of that as well so I'm gonna leave it here for now um, and we'll be making probably another vlog before we leave but I just wanted to tell you all that and um, I hope you have a great weekend and look forward to seeing you again next week from St. Croix Woo okay love y'all don't forget to subscribe. Please click the subscribe button. We need that. And we need you to like us. I think people have been watching but just haven't subscribed yet. But we just need you to subscribe. Just a little reminder. Friendly reminder. We love you. Thanks so much. Bye.